Hey guys, what's up? This is Phoebe from Alternative Twist Radio. Today we have a new artist spotlight featuring Zach Clayjean. Welcome, Zach. Phoebe, thank you so much for having me. What's up, everybody? Yes, I'm so excited to have you on today. I found you on TikTok and I saw your music video, uh, Let's Go. And I immediately, I was so entranced by your music. You playing the violin and um, it's not just a traditional violin too. That's what really intrigued me and pulled me in right away. How do you mix contemporary with um, traditional music playing? Yeah, so I have played violin since I was two years old. Uh, I was trained classically. I come from a family of musicians. So uh, raised playing classical music, but I was raised in Atlanta, Georgia. And so here I fell in love with like the hip hop and trap scene that was like really exploding around me. And so it took me a little while. Um, I always dreamed about doing it, but never really figured it out until I graduated from business school. Um, a way to combine hip hop, trap, and contemporary classical music. Um, so that's that's what I do. I basically, I, I taught myself how to produce hip hop and trap music. And I basically just produce these, these beats and songs and, and I place classical themed violin over them and just incorporate as much hip hop and trap elements as I can, including the use of my voice. How do you usually find your inspiration, you know, when combining um, your vocals, your um, writing the lyrics and the traditional violin with the trap and the other kinds of traditional violin music. How do you find the inspiration behind it? So I've been a songwriter since I was very young. So songwriting comes super naturally to me. Like, and I can get inspired by mostly just things that are happening in my life, but also just things I'm interested in. And as far as musically, like I am super inspired by Lindsey Sterling. I don't know if you know who she is, um, but she's a, one of the greatest contemporary violinists. And she does more stuff in EDM. So looking at her success um, was a big reason also that I was inspired to pursue music in the first place because I saw that she was succeeding in EDM violin, but I, I saw that there was nobody doing hip hop and trap violin like the way I wanted to. Um, so she really inspired me and then I'm inspired also by Pop Smoke, who's a, who's a hip hop artist um his his flow and the way he delivers his vocals is also very inspiring to me so they're big influences on me and as far as just like writing the music um i wanted to find my own way of doing things uh, i wanted to try to be as unique as possible so i kind of just put this formula together of writing um you know hip-hop based tracks with violent elements in the beat and then i will use my vocals as the chorus or the hook and I will use the violin as the traditional verses. So like in a song, you'll have like verses, chorus, ver with the voice, right? But I, I will, my verses are violin, lead violin. And then my hooks, my choruses are my voice. So that formula, I kind of just replaced the vocal verses with a lead violin. And it's kind of like my own thing that I've been doing. That's been really inspiring to me just to go off that formula. That's awesome. And I saw on TikTok uh, that you had your release party for your album that just uh, is coming out, right? At the end of this month. You it's want out. to tell us about that? It's out yes, already. Oh my to. gosh. I'd love to. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it came out um, March 20th, I think. End of March. Um, but yeah, we. I, it was a compilation album because I've been putting out uh, singles over the past three years and it was, I also put out two instrumental albums already, String Beats Volume 1 and 2. Uh, but this this album was kind of really my solo debut album of my music um, and the way I'm doing that formula I was talking about. So it's it was just a great culmination of a lot of hard work and a great uh, package of of my artistry and, and what I'm trying to do. So it's called Way That I Fiddle, The Way That I Fiddle, and uh, it's out on all streaming platforms. And yeah, there's a lot of great, great songs on there and uh, a great introductory project to, to my artist, for sure. Yes, I sent um, the link to a lot of my friends uh, to watch you on your video. And I told them, this guy is freaking awesome. I've never heard anything like this. I mean, I've heard um, non-traditional violinists. You know, we have a few artists who are amazing, uh, but um, for trap violinists, that, that just 
it was so fun too. And it wasn't um, anything I've ever heard. And they all loved it when they replied back to, oh my God, this is amazing. You know, where did you find him? I, I found him on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's incredible. That's incredible to hear. TikTok is so powerful. It's crazy. It's yes. crazy. And talking about TikTok, now I've seen a lot of your duets and who would you say is your most fun collab? That's a cool question. Um, Lindsay Sterling, I've, I've been able to duet uh, her before. That was really cool, but she doesn't do a lot of duet videos, but obviously like, as she's my inspiration, that was one of the coolest. And then these other two violinists, uh, D Sharp, who is uh, actually one of my friends out here and in LA and Philip Bowen are both great violinists who I have a lot of fun uh, duetting with. But then there's this cellist. He was actually one of the first times I went viral um, duetting with this cellist named Andrew Savoy. He, he lives in Washington, D.C. We've never met, you know, but we, we just have this connection through TikTok where I, I love to duet his videos and, it, and they normally do pretty well and people seem to really like them. So it's just, it's so cool. It's so cool. I like, it's such a powerful thing for music to be able to, you know, put artists together just over a phone and be able to create something new and beautiful. So those are some of my favorites. Yes, um, I definitely have in mind a couple of our artists. Um, one is a, a cellist, and then another one, she is also a violinist, and they are both amazing, uh, non-traditional music, but they have their own spin on, and um, I think the guy who does the cellist, um, he does a few, he does a lot of duets with people, so I might have to connect you guys. But yeah, I'd love to check them out, and, and thank yeah. you, by the way, for, for introing me to, to the PR as well. That was huge. Yes. Yes, I'm very excited about that. I hope that um, this will be a good thing because um, I feel like you're right at the cusp and you just need the right people on your team. And I felt that from the beginning. And when I came um, with this PR connection, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, Zach, I need to get Zach on with Jody. That's it's just amazing. You have no idea how, how important and helpful it is because I really appreciate it. I think you're right. I think I, we are on the cusp of something here. It's been oh, yeah. a, 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 a good build and mm -hmm. uh, it's exciting times. I've seen more growth than I've ever seen in my career over the past like three, four months than ever. Yeah. And it, it's just it's only going to get bigger. I could, I could feel it, Zach. I can't. Yeah. Fingers crossed. <laughs> We're not, we're going to keep going, you know, like this is, That's right. I'm, I'm just excited. Uh, yeah, to be pursuing my dream and, and giving it everything I have, so. Yes. So um, why don't we take this moment and we'll watch your music video and it's called Let's Go, right? Yeah. I filmed it in Atlanta and it's inspired by uh, Trick Daddy and Little John and uh, Ozzy Osbourne, of course, has a little cameo in there. But uh, <laughs> Always. yeah, let's, let's, let's watch it. Yes. an awesome video zach thank you so much hey welcome thank you so much for airing it yeah hey thank you so much for watching the video and for for airing it phoebe and everyone out there it's nice to meet you guys i'm clay john the trap violinist definitely follow me on all my socials and find the music at clay john c-l-e-j-a-n on all streaming platforms and uh i want to come to a city near you and perform so Keep listening, keep getting those, those streaming data numbers up so I can show people that I have listeners in your city. Share with your friends, and I'm gonna be there ASAP to play for y'all. 
Um, PB, thank you again so much for having me. Alternative Twist Radio, thank you. This is Zach Clayjohn with Alternative Twist Radio. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching, guys. Please share, like, and subscribe to our channel and find us on all of our social media. Links in our bio. Thanks.